Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to create this perspective text inside of Photoshop. This is a really simple effect so let's dive straight in. You can do this effect with any image but it's a lot easier to work with something where you have natural leading lines to guide you. For this effect we're going to be using a combination of shape layers with smart objects. So hit U to get your shape tool. I'm going to remove the fill and then add a red stroke and set it to 20 pixels. For this to work, the shape layer has to fully fill the area where the text is going to be. That looks good to me. Next, we're going to right click this layer and then convert it to a smart object. Click into the smart object. Then using the keyboard shortcut T, we're going to get our text tool and type out the word we want to add into the image and then scale this up to fill the space. I'm going to rotate it as well. I'm also going to align this centrally by hitting command A on my keyboard to select the composition, then using the align tools in the bar above. Once this is done, convert the text layer into a smart object and scale this up to fill the entire artboard. Holding command or control, select the corners of the text layer and then simply scale this up to fill the space. Once that's done, hide the stroke layer and then hit command S to save this. Head back over into the main image and you can see that the text still needs a bit of work. What we need to do now is exactly the same process that we did for the text inside of the smart object. So we're going to hold command and then select the corners of the text and then scale this into position using the lines within the image. Hit enter when you're done and our text is perfectly composed. The problem we have now is the text doesn't blend with the image. This is an extremely easy and quick fix. Right click the layer and then go to blend options or you can simply double tap this area on the layer. We're going to blend this text into our image using blend if and we're going to be working with the underlying layer. Hold option and click here to split this small arrowhead and then we're going to bring this down so you can see how it perfectly blends with the background. Before you go I've got one last tip because we are working with smart objects we can dynamically change this text at any point we want. To do this, all we need to do is double click back into the shape layer. And then if you remember, we converted our text layer into a smart object. So if we double click into that smart object, then we have the option to change the text to anything. So for example, let's change this to please sub slash like. We can even edit the size, the color, and even the font at any point we choose. So this is important. What you need to do now is hit command S in the text layer jump back into the shape layer, hit command S again, and then jump back into the main image we're working with. You can see it's been dynamically changed and we didn't have to repeat the same process again. So this is a really versatile and easy way to do this if you need to do it a lot where you're changing the words or playing around with different things, you aren't limited. So this is non-destructive way of doing this. And that's the end of the tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.